All right, guys, welcome back to Mr. Mud's Radio Time. I'm Victor Alpha 5, Mike Uniform Delta. And um, in today's episode, I'm going to show you uh, something I've been working on for the last uh, couple weeks. And um, I don't know, I think it's kind of a, I think it's a, uh, just a way of making things making things fun and uh, not overcomplicated. I mean, doing the research for it and stuff was complicated for me. And uh, I, I like to keep things simple and I like to I like to work with my hands and, you know, just try things, see what works, what doesn't. So we're not, we're not gonna get to it right away what I did. Um, here's, a, here's a sneak preview of some of the stuff I've done uh, or I'm doing and a whole queue of stuff. A little sneak peek to future videos and um and part of this video too so get get to it i'm gonna keep you guys waiting um i've been playing with a bit of uh you've probably seen some other videos my my one to nine onion using gutters and uh, and just random things um uh, we used i used uh what the heck did i use uh, lawn chairs uh, lamp post and all that kind of stuff. And I was, I was having kind of having some fun with that. But I, I I was also thinking, you know what? I want to kind of go a little past that. Now here's a in here's a collection of some of my balance. And I got a forty nine to one. I made I made a a one to one for um, uh, center fed dipo. All this fun stuff, right? Kind of carrying these around, checking them, and I thought, you know, I. And, I, and yeah, I thought, you know, I got bought all these parts, kind of a whole whack of stuff. And I'm like, you know, I like, like making antennas, like making balance, all that, all that kind of stuff. They're all kind of pretty and stuff to make, right? No one sees them, but I know they look pretty cool. So I was kind of doing a little bit of research on the internet. It's not anything new at all. Don't I'm not taking any credit for what I've done. I, I just wanted to put it together so that it was, it was going to be, it was going to be fun, kind of like fun to learn. You're not going to be, it's going to be using your hands. You're going to, it's actual real results, playing around, experimenting. So I've done a little few testing with it and um, let's go ahead and have a look at it. I'm just uh, at my QTH here. So this is what is the whole thing I've been working on. And anyone who knows anything, there's a little bit of writing on there. Yes, it is a multi-tap onion or a bound, depends on how you wire it up. And to make it so that it's fun and you can do some, you know, whatever you want, I thought, you know what, let's make it so that we could just clip on and see what works and what does it. So a little background on this and why I did this and why it's on a piece of cardboard. Obviously you can see I started uh, the winding taps. This is three windings on the primary and the three windings, three windings, three windings go on and on in the multipliers and your ratios. I'm not going to get into all the details on how all that works with with uh, what you know you can look that up on the internet we're not going to get into that and that's just going to make the whole video complicated and I don't want to make it complicated I want something that you can go to the park or in your own QTH throw this on a tree on a fence on a piece of cardboard just start writing on it what you want to do so I did some figuring on here put some of my ratios on there uh, some stuff I did get off the internet I'm not taking credit for it random 30 or sorry 73 foot length of wire it actually was 75 i cut it or folded it back a bit i started tapping off of different taps on the onion because i am i'm not using a i'm just using a very short piece of counterpoise so it's a it's an end fed half wave and playing on the radio i've tuned different bands i was able to get a nice swr on different ratios on different bands that was part of the whole thing about this project, is just to make it fun, get out to the park, try and see what works. Do you want to carry around a bunch of 
onions, like five of them, or do you want to pay $200 for one that's a multi-tap similar to this? You don't need to. All you need to do is go to your favorite radio store or whatever online store. Pick up some, whatever your favorite is, by doing a little bit of research, of course. I'm not going to tell you what to do, what to use. Um, this one I've been using is an F240-31 mix. And some to hook up your coax to. I also have this guy here, which is a terminal block. So you can just screw that right onto your, your on on or ballon. Um, you can pick up some a capacitor, whatever you want to do, just to basically take off some of the static charge and buffer into your, so you don't blow up your front end of your radio. Whatever wire you want to get, I've used uh, solid wire. I actually recycled off of this uh, fluorescent light ballast, and uh, it had the perfect gauge copper wire, so I've used that. Um, I've also got some spools of wire. You do whatever you want with it. Um, idea of this without crunching a bunch of numbers and all that kind of stuff grab some random wire you know grab 73 feet grab 80 feet whatever grab whatever you want to grab throw it up into the tree try different heights different counterpoises clip your antenna onto different outlets of the ballon or the onion and you know you put two wires the counterpoise you can have make it a dipole you could make it an end fed make it whatever you want Put on a piece of cardboard like I did. Start writing all the different numbers and different SWRs and what's working for you. And go out there and have a good time, man. It's just part of it. And, and make something, too. If you if you like making stuff or you want to try making something, this is, this is something that I recommend making. I mean, I made these. And uh, I got a similar one up for the last four years up at my QTH. Uh, I made a one-to-one -one for uh, center-fed inverted V. And it's been getting me around the world. I uh, love it. So, guys, get out there. Hopefully get some ideas off this video. This is the whole point of it. Get out there, play POTA, have some fun. Don't take it too seriously. Just get out there and experiment. That's the whole thing about ham radio, guys. Hey, for now, 73s and see you on the bands.